under immense stress. Their ability to act as a climate regulator and as a key engine for economic growth and sustainable development is progressively being eroded. All right, now let's talk to our business anchor, Malika Kaze, who's at the KICC, where the Sustainable Blue Economic Conference is happening. Malika, good morning. What do you expect to happen today? A very good morning, Brenda. Today the day is bright. The rain we saw yesterday seems to have subsided, but you never know with the weather what we're expecting. But yes, very much excited as we're here for the day two of the Blue Economy Conference 2018. Now the highlight for today is going to be the Governors and Mayors Convention that is going to kick off the proceedings for today. We're going to see President Uhuru Kenyatta address the delegates once again. We're also going to have a Governor of Nairobi, Mike Mbuvi Sonko, doing this same as well as the chairperson for the African Union Commission Mumina Sharif and other leaders are talking to the delegates this morning we've just heard the national anthem being played by the band signaling the arrival of the leaders and that is going to kick off the proceedings for the day now the topic that they're going to be discussing today is going to be healthier cities healthier world and it's going to encompass a lot of themes including climate change and waste management now these are of course a key brand as you know, Nairobi itself produces 3,000 tons of solid waste per day, only half of which is collected as per statistics from January 2018. And we do know that Kenya has one of the fastest growing populations in Africa. We're set to hit 97 million by the year 2050. So clearly when it comes to waste production, we're going to see a great, great increase as well. And when it comes to preventive measures, once we start thinking about it, conversing about these issues from now we're going to be able to tackle them a lot better do remember that last night governors from the coastal region did meet up and they talked about econo economizing on the blue economy as well as capitalizing on the various streams of finances that can be tapped into they've also talked about building a water transport system that accommodates a lot of our coastal towns and areas so as to address a po a poverty alleviation as well as creating jobs for the people who live in those areas and Brenda that is key as we talk about uh, these issues of blue economy because we do know that Kenya has over a thousand kilometers of sea facing land so there's a lot of opportunity and we know the conversations are happening there has been a lot of talk about various projects that are going to be initiated as President Uhuru Kenyatta did address delegates yesterday in his uh, speech that began the conference he did say that we produce eight tons of waste that are going going into the sea every year so the plastic pollution issue also needs to be addressed and specifically the conference is going to be talking about conservation and production when it comes to the blue economy we've seen a lot of lot of delegates here from 185 plus countries Initially, of course, there were expectations of about 6,000 delegates, which ballooned to more than 11,000, and as of now, over 17,000. And you will note that such a huge, huge amount of people pouring in from various parts of the world also means that Kenya is capitalizing in the tourist sense. A lot of hotels, a lot of hospitality avenues are gaining from the fact that this three-day conference is hosting such a large number of people. So it's setting up the pace of for Kenya and Kenya has of course now set itself up as a global leader through this particular conference when it comes to hosting such events when it comes to capacity building as well as building off relations between countries as you know the co-hosts Japan and Canada did give did give quite a chunk of the money that it took to put this conference together which is supposed to have cost between 700 and 900 million Kenya shillings so it's a mammoth event that has seen a lot of people come together with We've also seen that during the day for today, there are going to be panels discussing the mineral resources and how we can tap into that. Now, yesterday, we saw the president for Somalia, Mohammed Abdullahi Mohammed, talk about this, the fact that a lot of minerals are left untapped when it comes to the countries in Africa. And we need to be able to access these. We need to be able to build capacity in order to ensure that we're getting the most out of what we can uh, from these particular revenue streams. 
dreams for the country as well as for the region in general. But it is a thin line when it comes to productivity and conservation. And uh, hopes are that such a conference that brings together like-minded people is going to be able to ensure that while we do tap into these massive streams of revenue, we're still conserving the environment, the water bodies that are providing us with these bounties. We'll keep you up to date on the subsequent bulletins of what is happening, of course, as the day progresses at the KICC with the Blue Economy Conference.